Okay, for homework 1130, I'm going to have you copy all of the work for these three problems and the three words to show me that you are listening to what I say. So this first problem here, set up for the distributive property, double distributive property on both sides, times 5 by 2a and negative 3, other side 8 times a and 8 times 1. After that distribute step, I get 10a minus 15, because 5 times negative 3, negative 15, equals 8a plus the all-important 8. Remember, the times 8 times 1. Now it becomes a variables on both sides where I start on the left. First step, get rid of the number on the left. Second step, get rid of the variable on the right. Third step, back to the left, divide. So the first two steps, again, involve adding, subtracting. So first step to this variables on both sides equation, start by getting rid of the plain number on the left by doing the opposite. Make sure you're adding to the other plain number on the right side. Know that doing the opposite will make these cancel. Bring down 10a, bring down your equal, bring down that 8a, 15 plus 8, that's going to give me 23. Stay on that side of my equation now and eliminate the 8a by doing the opposite, minus 8a, minus 8a. First two steps involve adding, subtracting things. Only this third step involves something different than adding or subtracting. It involves division. So dividing by 2, it's going to give you a decimal for this one. Sorry about that, but that's okay. Not too bad. 23 divided by 2. If I do that on my calculator, I'm not taking the risk with my arithmetic. That gives me 11.5. First word is buffalo. Buffalo is the first word. Know that this is a single variable equation, not like one of those system ones where you have an answer for X and Y to plug in. This only has one location for you to take this 11.5 and plug it in and see if it satisfies that equation. It should work, should give you two equal numbers. All right, next problem. This one, you are going to distribute and then combine like terms. So I'm going to times this negative 6 times 2X, negative 6 times negative 3. When I'm done distributing, I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 12x, negative 6 times negative 3, plus 18, plus 8x. Bring down my equal, negative 2x plus 10. At this point, combine like terms. Combine this negative 12x with this 8x. Combine to get negative 4x. That is super important. You're combining on the same side. The worst thing you could do is do an inverse operation on the same side. I see it. People add 12x, add 12x right there, and think that's what you're doing to solve this. Nope. That would take your equation and not be equivalent anymore. It would be unbalanced. You changed it. But if you instead combine these your equation is still equivalent, still the same. This gives me negative 4x plus 18 equals negative 2x plus 10. That is crucial to get to that variables on both sides. Look. And then here I go. Start on the left. Get rid of the plain number on the left by adding or subtracting whatever it is opposite. Those will go away. Bring everything down. Make sure to bring the negative with that 4x. Don't bring down positive 4x. Equal negative 2x. 10 minus 18, negative 8. Stay on that side and eliminate the variable by doing the opposite, adding 2x. Notice that those first two steps involve adding, subtracting terms and numbers. This gives me negative 2x. Might want to use a calculator. Negative 8. Third step, of course, different than adding, subtracting terms, division. Make sure that you're dividing by negative 2, not just 2, negative 2. <clears throat> that will cancel and give you positive x. 
and then negative 8 divided by negative 2, positive 4. All right, first, second word is reservation, reservation. All right, here you go. Next problem, last one. Distribute a negative fraction. Oh, no. So when I times this fraction, know that that negative 3 fifths times that 10x over 1, you're timesing straight across. I'm timesing that negative 3 times 10 to get negative 30x. I'm timesing that 5 times 1 to get 5. And when that all shakes down, it'll end up being negative 6x. There's another way you could get that negative 6x too. You could do a little cross canceling before you multiply straight across. And that means dividing by this 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then if I times what I got left over, negative 3 times 2, 1 times 1, another shorter way to get straight to that being negative 6x right there. I'm not sure what you want to do. I think I in class showed it as just timesing straight across with what you have, knowing that that's 3 fifths negative times 10x, and that negative 3 fifths also times negative 20 over 1. If I do that correctly, that gives me 18 equals 12x minus, when I go straight across, 30x over 5 plus, when I go straight across over there with those numbers, it's going to be 60 over 5. But of course, those will simplify into 18 equals 12x minus 6x plus 12. Now, before I solve this, combine my like terms to get 18 still equals 6 of those x's plus 12. Now I could do my inverse operations math to both sides of my equation. Combining like terms is not an inverse operation. Taking away 12 from both sides of my equation to make it look equivalent, different, that's an inverse operation. And then right here, opposite times in by 3, I'm going to, I'm sorry, times in by 6, I'm going to divide by 6 which gives me the answer to this one, which is 1 equals x, or of course you'd write that, x equals 1. All right, write this work in the three words. The third word is giraffe. Giraffe. Good luck.